Let's talk about this instead. Um, it's not football, it's pickleball. It's one of the fastest growing sports right now and the English Open starts at the Telford International Centre today, running until the 14th. About 2,000 players from more than 40 countries will be in town over the next week. Michael de Groot is the West Midlands Regional Director and on the board for Pickleball England. He's been speaking to BBC Radio Shropshire's Owen Taylor. Part of my role is to help grow pickleball around the whole of the West Midlands. Uh, and I have a team of county representatives. Actually, we're looking for one in Shropshire and we're all volunteers. We are doing effectively what we call grassroots pickleball growth or development. Are you coming back to Telford for the English Open again? Why Telford? Well, Telford at the International Centre, they did a fabulous job for us last year. It's just a beautiful centre, it's roomy, it's airy. And the most important thing is, Owen, we can fit 40 courts in there. (laughs) And we need 4-0, that is. We need 40 courts in order to accommodate all of the players that want to play in the English Open. Except this year, we've had to extend it to seven days in order to accommodate all the players. We had just over a 1,000 last year. And we've now just just shy of 2,000 players coming to play in the English Open. And I must just add, because this is really important, so we've got ages from 7 to 70 playing in the English Open over the seven days. You may be surprised to learn that Shropshire has got a massive amount of pickleball players. So of the whole of the West Midlands, most of the pickleball players are actually in Shropshire. We We have some amazing clubs. I'll mention a couple of them, Pickleball Central UK and Telford Pickleball. There's also Oswestry Pickleball uh, growing very fast, and that one only started in February. And they've got like over 500, a couple of those clubs have got over 500 players in their clubs. And so Shropshire actually is very, very popular for pickleball. For those who don't know, are listening to this and maybe haven't, heard about the growth of this book. What is pickleball? Mm. What are the rules? How does it work? Pickleball, we describe it as a mixture between tennis, badminton and table tennis. So it borrows from all of those three sports. I like to call it table tennis on a badminton court. And the rules are very similar in terms of scoring. Like badminton, we, we go to 11 points. It's generally played as doubles. We have a low net on the court, uh, not a badminton net. It's a lower net. Um, we play with a something called a paddle, not a racket. And then we play with a plastic ball with holes in it. The object of the game is for the, the two pairings either side to win the game. Who's first to 11 points, clear by two points, wins the game. Your numbers of competitors of this year have doubled from last year, from 1,000 to 2,000, over 42 countries. I wouldn't want to be the person who's setting up all the fixtures and all the knockout ranges who's play to. How does that work? And first and foremost, how do you feel that it's doubled within the space of a few months? Yeah, so we're delighted with the growth of the sport. Obviously, our cousin across the pond, America, where the game was invented, it is huge over there. Um, there are in the millions um double digit figure millions people playing it every single week we have got a long way to catch up with them but we've now believed that we're at this inflection point where the the growth is kind of compounding so only a few years ago we might have had only about five or ten thousand players we reckon we estimate at pickleball england that there's about thirty thousand players in england right now uh, that's not even counting scotland and wales and northern ireland so the growth is just phenomenal i'm getting calls literally every day from people saying where can i play pickleball can i have a coaching session and it's just incredible schools are now getting into it as well we get i'm getting calls from schools they want pickleball days with their s- students it's incredible. That's Pickleball West Midlands Regional Director Michael De Groot speaking to BBC Radio Shropshire's Owen Taylor. Tickets are available on the Pickleball England website. And if you're thinking of joining a club, you can find all of the information you need on their website about that as well. Thursday morning on The Breakfast Show, coming up to 8 o'clock. On the BBC Sounds app, on your smart speaker, play BBC Radio Shropshire. And on your radio. 